Oh, she's here. A friend of hers came with her to this house and saw her come in. She's uh, got long, dark hair. She's slim. She's about this high. Well, that sounds like my son's girlfriend, but her name's Louise. Oh, that's Sarah's middle name. Is your son called Gary? Yes. Just what sort of parents do you think you are that let your 19-year-old son date a 14-year-old whoa, girl? Whoa, whoa. My son is not 19. He's 16, which is what Luke... I mean, Sarah told us she was. I see. Oh. Well, can we come in? Yeah, of course. Uh, just go through on the right. Well, I think we've all been lied to. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this. We had no idea you didn't know she was here. And they've gone out? Yeah, they went into Manchester. They went to see a film at the new multiplex and then out for a pizza. Right. Is that him there? Yeah, that's Gary. Right. Seems like a nice lad. He is. She told us she was studying all day at the library. We found out from a friend. I'll kill her when I get hold of her. Well, I wouldn't be too hard on her. You know how young love can be. We've all been there. Yeah, I suppose. Mind you, it won't stop me killing Gary when I get my hands on him. <laughs> Although I must admit we were relieved when we met Louis. When we met Sarah. She seems like a very nice girl. You never know what to expect when your teenager starts dating, do you? She is nice. I mean, she might tell tales. Well, you can be rest assured that Gary won't get up to anything he shouldn't. We brought him up better than that. Yeah, that's OK. It's just that, well, Sarah's not like most. Well, she's got... She's got a bit behind with the schoolwork. And we want her to work extra hard. Well, these are important years, aren't they? Very. Listen, you're welcome to stay as long as you like, but I'm not sure what time they'll be back. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Well, at least we know she's safe. Yeah, I suppose so. Will you ask her to ring me as soon as she gets back and I'll come and pick her up? Of course we will. Or we'll drop her off, whichever. Right. So, could he give us your phone number? Just in case we need to get in touch. Yeah, of course. There you are. Right. Thanks. And I'm sorry about all this. No, not at all. I'm the one that should be apologising. Well. It certainly was. Oh, thank you for covering for me. I should go in a minute. Well, at least stay and have another drink. Let's try and sort this out. And if you go back too soon, it'll only look suspicious anyway. Yeah, all right then. <laughs> Are you not hungry? Oh, no, it's not that. What's wrong? What's the matter? Yet everything I do always turns out to be such a mess. I was so sure this time that it was going to work out. That I'd meet this brilliant lad and life was going to be different. I should have known it was too good to be true. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. No, it's not you, it's me. I just managed to mess up everything. Of course you don't. You're fantastic. How can you say that? Because you don't know. Then tell me. I'm still a good listener. I've not been completely honest with you either. There's something else. I've got a baby. You've got a... <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd be shocked. No, no, no I'm... I mean, it's a surprise, yes. But... I'm not shocked at you or anything. So, when did it happen? <laughs> 